Very, very good. Good. So, this is another fast note repull situation, right? Mm -hmm. So, here we have, well, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, let me do this in order. I'll save repull for the end. Um, we need to feel. <laughs> to various parts of the beat. OK, this is over. Huh? This is inside the beat, over. And here, show me your bass line. Dot om, dot om, dot om. OK, very important that that comes out. <laughs> that must happen here is that we feel density in these notes. It should not feel easy. Fast, yes. Easy, no. You want to feel like an explosion is going to happen. Yeah? You follow me? So your bowing shouldn't feel easy either. Not that, but a little bit of a little bite, especially on the up bows, a little more. Not. Do you see? Can you try? Uh huh. Mm. Okay. What we're going to try to do is we're going to have a fight in the bow. The bow wants to bounce. The hair wants to stay on the string. <laughs> huh. Here, take a look. See? The hair is actually staying on the string. Bow is bouncing like crazy. And that makes that tension in the sound. Huh? Better. Better. There you go. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Now show me up bows. T show me triplets. Okay, don't try to move this way. Try to move this way. except it's not triplets yet. <laughs> OK, sweetheart, get your shoulder down. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah? OK. So now we have to refine that so that you can cross strings and give us. And then. But th that's going to take work. So that's one thing just for everybody. Do you see this? You see it? So this, this is going like that. Yeah. And the hair is clear, just stays, stays right there. And that gives you that articulation with teeth. Yeah, yeah. OK. That's one thing. And then the showing us, profiling the bass line is another thing. OK? Third thing. When you play this role that she's been playing, please don't play like a gypsy rhythm. No. No. Very strict. Good square German 16th notes. OK? That's the other piece of this um, very, very s strongly tense music, yeah? You have a martial rhythm, yeah? Along with all of this moving and flourish, yeah? So that has to be a very clear element, yeah? This we can practice. I'd like you to divide your bow much more drastically. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. Otherwise, we don't know that you're making crescendo. It has to be very extreme because of all that noise. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> OK, do you want to try? Yeah. these. The opposite, huh? Do the up bow that way too. Shoot the bow all the way. Again. Um, you might, oh, yes, that's a good idea. Do it. Yeah? It gives you a little more of that steady, solid feeling. Yeah? All right. Uh, I think all of this is clear. Yes. One more thing. When you come to your double bar, I think this is actually bridge material, which could be treated as such, so that you are actually arriving back at mood and tempo four bars later. Yeah? So I wouldn't play sudden tempo, but... Uh, Echelorando. That's arrival. Yeah? It's an interpretation. You can see it so or so. The piano material comes out of the trio. She's still doing and there she arrives. Yeah? Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's very good. End was beautiful. This was fine. Um, now, organizing this repo wise, or in terms of the coordination, the first bar is one repo. This is one over the bow. One repo and one over the bow. Are 
two smaller ripples over the bow. See how it works? Sort of, sort of. If I did it in one bow, you'd see. This is. Yeah? So it's the same thing. Because not physically the same, but musically the same. You're going tense. Release. Okay? So you want to do that inside. Yeah? Okay, not for you, not right now, but just to, to have explained how it works with a group of fast notes. Yeah. Clear? <laughs>